But speaking of that, right, Drake taking the disc record down, how you feel about the estate sending him a cease and desist, telling him to take it down or they was going to sue him? you agree with that? Yeah. I, 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 think it's, I think it's smart of him because there's also some liability there. You dig? And he would have to deal with that. So it was better to, you know, do, do the right thing because you know being creative with it using it in a, a creative way not weaponized is one thing and then weaponizing it is another thing you know it, using the technology at all is one weapon and then pock it's like the tank <laughs> or the nuke you know that's perfection. So, you know, it, then then it becomes an uneven battle. You know what I mean? Keep that shit, just the vocals and the flow. Keep that shit, just rap. Get your money. All them niggas got M's. All them niggas is rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get money together. You know? Do, do, do. Think ahead of the shit, fellas. That's all. You personally, how did you feel about both disc records? Well, uh, you know, I... I I've been aware now of Kendrick longer and better of, and his work. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Kendrick fan, but I do like some of Drake's songs. So uh, I can't call the battle yet because it ain't over. It ain't over. I ain't, I ain't, yeah, I ain't choosing yet because I don't feel like it's over yet. Right, right. But as of now, both tracks that they both drop, which one do you like better? Uh, well, you know, right now, Right now, Kendrick, let's see where it goes. But, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the game is still in play. In my humble opinion. How you feel about the people that feel the type of way that the Tupac estate, they let Kendrick use Tupac voice for his album, but when it came to Drake, they made him take it down. How you feel about the people that feel the type of way about that? Even though it's a difference, right? You know, Drake, he was using Tupac vocals for a diss song. And, you know, Kendrick, he was using Tupac vocals to pay homage. But uh, how you feel about the people that feel the type of way about that? Same rules apply. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something. And if you're going to do it, make sure you do it right. Uh, everybody handles business in a different way, I guess, the way uh uh Kendrick handled it got him the blessing. And I don't even I ain't even man, I ain't even heard all these songs because I've been minding my fucking business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when you ask me about the technology, which is fair game, and you ask me about my brother, which is fair game, and you ask me about hip hop, which is fair game, I I got an opinion. But personally, I got nothing against none of them. I think they all talented, they all get money, they all doing their thing. Uh, I, I just wish they would keep it rap against rap, flow against flow. Yeah, that's real talk. What you think about Suge Knight comments about the situation? Him saying that it wasn't a good look for, you know, Drake to have Tupac and Snoop on the same song because, you know, Snoop, he was a part of Tupac downfall. Uh, how you feel about him saying that? Yeah, there's a whole lot of politics and, and, and different situations that don't have nothing to do with actually the art of rap. Art of, the art of rap, get it? Uh, but uh, uh, that's when shit gets messy. And this is what I mean. Just, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do something because if he hadn't done it, it wouldn't even be an issue. But now all these questions are, are, are being asked because he chose to do it this way. You know, I... I uh, you know, outside of this battle, I, I I want the best for dude because we actually got <laughs> we got an enemy in common. But you know, um, he gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? He may, had a misstep, but you know, it's all West Coast here, so he, he you know he has to make some decisions.